probability, boring maths topic, or a way to predict the future? Well, it's neither, but it can be pretty interesting. Let's start basic. A probability scale ranges from 0 to 1. 0 is something impossible, like growing an extra head. 1 is certain, like not growing an extra head. Everything else is in between. Probability can be shown as a decimal, fraction, or percentage. A fair coin toss should be heads 50% of the time, but if we flip a coin 10 times in a row, we may not get equal results. This is called relative frequency, and it's a useful experiment to test a theory. The more trials carried out, the more accurate it will be. It is possible to get heads 5 or even 10 times in a row, just very unlikely. Each coin toss is independent, so it will always have a one half chance of heads. The coin doesn't care. By multiplying the individual probability by the amount of trials, we get the answer. Expecting the coin to care about your pattern is called the gambler's fallacy. However, not all events are independent. Drawing a card from this deck will have a 4 out of 8, or 1 over 2, chance of being red. The probability of drawing a second red card has changed, because one was taken away. The probability is now 3 over 7. To find the probability of both cards being red, we multiply them together. A tree diagram is able to show us all the possible outcomes. Drawing one of each colour can happen in two ways so both of these results can be added together, and we can see that this is the most probable outcome. Probability isn't always what you'd expect. The Monty Hall problem is a good example of this. It's named after a game show host, so let's play the game. There's a great prize up for grabs. Let's make it a pot of gold. You could also win something rubbish, like two old socks. The pot of gold and each sock is hidden behind a numbered door and we get to pick one. Let's say we pick door number 3. There's a 1 in 3 chance we've picked the gold, and a 2 in 3 chance we've picked an old sock. This means it's more likely the gold is behind a different door. Monty, tricky host he is, reveals one of the socks behind a different door. Then he asks if we want to swap. So, should we swap or stick with our original choice? It seems like a 50-50 chance, as there are only two doors left, but not so fast. Changing doors doubles our chance of winning. Here's why. Let's rewind and put on our X-ray specs. There is a 2 in 3 chance our first guess was wrong, because there are two socks and only one pot of gold. So when Monty reveals an incorrect option, two out of three times, we will be swapping to the right door. In other words, there was originally a 2 in 3 chance of gold being behind door number 1, or 2. Now Monty has eliminated an option, the probability has concentrated onto door number 2, making it twice as likely as our original choice. Of course, there is also still a 1 in 3 chance that we were right on the first guess, and by switching we have now lost. But 2 out of 3 times, we will win. This can be tricky to make sense of, but it shows us that probability isn't always what you'd expect. Whether it's a coin toss, drawing cards, or a game show, understanding probability can help us predict what will happen. But it's never a sure thing. All these examples can be tested by running your own relative frequency tests at home. So why don't you give it a go and make sure our maths is right? <laughs>